Hola estudiantes, ¿cómo están? Espero estén muy bien. Hemos aprendido sobre muchos estilos de comunicación, dos principalmente. Uno es comunicación pasiva y el otro es comunicación agresiva, ¿verdad? Vimos ese video de Spongebob en que alguien se siente encima de él, ¿verdad? Y él, como comunicador pasivo, dice, ah, permiso, señor, es que... Um, estás sentado encima mío, ¿verdad? Es muy pasiva, no, no dice, ¡hey, muévete! Pero Plankton, el otro, el chiquitito, es muy agresivo, ¿verdad? Él grita, ¡hey, muévete! Así. Entonces son dos estilos de comunicación opuestos. Hoy vamos a aprender de otro estilo de comunicación. Y eso no es eh, pasivo ni agresivo, es pasivo-agresivo. <laughs> es un poco confuso. Vamos a ver. Let's look at this article from WebMD, which is a website that we can use to find information about our health. It says, what is passive aggressive behavior? Someone who uses passive aggression doesn't express negative feelings directly. Though they feel angry, resentful, or frustrated, they act neutral, pleasant, or even cheerful. Then they find indirect ways to show how they really feel. So how can we recognize it? When someone uses passive aggression, he might say one thing, like, sure, I'd be happy to, and do another, like brood and complain when completing the task. Okay, so if somebody is passive aggressive, They pretend like it's fine and they might say yes to keep the peace, but on the inside, they're kind of mad and they might say something or do something to show you that in a different way. Does that make sense? So let's look at some examples here. On this slide, I want you to read these, um, these, blue, these orange text boxes here and I want you to drag them to the right spot. So let's do one together and then you can finish the rest. This one says, says yes when asked to do something, but then gets mad. Do you think that's passive? Passive aggressive or aggressive? Well, let's see, it's probably not aggressive because if someone says yes when asked to do something in a, in a kind of a, a kind way, usually an aggressive person wouldn't, wouldn't just Um, say yes, they might get angry or they might yell or they might try to get their way. Would a passive person say yes but then get angry? Mm, probably not. A passive person might just say yes and then that's the end of it. So I think this goes under passive aggressive. So I'm going to drag it over there. So you do the same thing with the rest of these, okay? Now let's look at this one. Here we have an example of something that each type of communicator would say. So in the SpongeBob example, a passive communicator, SpongeBob, said, you can have my ice cream cone. It's okay. Just, just have it. I'd rather not get into a, a fight. You know, just take it. A passive aggressive person might say, I guess you can have my ice cream cone, even though it's my favorite flavor and I've been looking forward to eating it all day. Right? So they kind of make you feel guilty about it, even though they say yes. And then here's an aggressive example. This is what Plankton said. This one is pretty funny. Hey, you! Surrender that ice cream cone or every waking moment for you will become a swirling torrent of pain and misery. All right, so a little dramatic, <laughs> but an example of what an aggressive person might say. So here in these boxes, I want you to write another example that you think of. Puede ser en español o en inglés of passive, passive-aggressive, and aggressive communication. Okay? Ciao!